Hi and welcome to this week's Ask Charlie. I am in my kitchen and I want to chat to you about the dishwasher. I'm sorry that the lighting isn't brilliant but my dishwasher is here and there's not much I can do about it. So we have had our dishwasher. Close it, up. it is a Miele, it's integrated and we've had it for, gosh it must be almost nine years. I love it. I think um, Miele is a brilliant, brilliant brand. Um, I'm a big fan of their hoovers, their dishwashers and their washing machines. And if you can afford the investment, they are more expensive, it's worth it because this is just the most amazing bit of kit. It is used twice a day, sometimes more, and it's just fab. So I am going to talk you through it. Some of the dishwashers come with a tray at the top for cutlery. In fact, I'm gonna move the camera down with the cutlery tray at the top. I personally don't like that. I like this basket because you can take it out and you can empty your cutlery. So our cutlery drawer is just here, so I could just take the basket over and empty it. When you plan your kitchen, you do need to kind of think, we built this specifically for us, you do need to think of where things are and the best use of space and layout. So I'm gonna pop these things and I might add to it as well in the dishwasher. So it's currently completely empty. In fact, while it's empty, I'm gonna to talk to you about this bit down here. So I don't normally do it from the other side. This um, I take out and clean once a week. It's really important that you keep this clean because if it's dirty, then you're just washing the dirt around. I'm gonna come back and put it in this way because I'm used to doing it from this angle. I also um, use these, which are finish all-in-one tablets. So you don't need to worry about rinse aid and you don't need to worry about salt. They are, again, slightly more expensive, but worth it because you don't have the added extra bits and they do a great job. So, um, little plates. I put, in fact, I'm going to need to move you down even more. Um, little plates can go in here or also up here, just depending on what, what I've got. Put that one down there, down there. So I find that not that many people could stack the dishwasher using the space in the best possible way. So bowls kind of can go along here. Knives and utensils to put on this shelf and lids for cups and things like that on there. And then if you carefully put things in like this. And you just need to kind of work out what, spatially, what fits in in the best possible way. Um, again, the utensils can slip down there. And talking about cutlery, so I've got quite a sharp knife here and I always put them in um, blade down. But these knives I put in handle down because they wash better. So all of our cutlery I put in handle down like so. And don't overfill because if you overfill then it's not going to wash very well either. So in goes all this cutlery. You can put teaspoons down along here, which gives you more space as well, which is quite handy. And that frees up the basket for putting more things in. So now mugs, these can slide in along here quite nicely. And if you just carefully think it through, you can fit in a lot more. I'm actually gonna get Sark to watch this video because he's terrible when it comes to the dishwasher. And he piles everything in. There's so much that actually it can't wash and it doesn't wash well and I've gotta redo it. So chopping boards, these slide in really nicely, I find, at the back. And then maybe down that side too. Now I'm obsessed with Baco Glide and this washes really well in the dishwasher, but I slide it down the side of a chopping board just to kind of hold it in place like that. 
and then plates. So big dinner plates I put along here, like so. And just can evenly space them out. These plates are bigger than those ones and actually I put them at the back, uh, just in front of the chopping boards, because this spinny round bit in here catches and doesn't allow it to spin. So if they're at the back, it um, washes better. You can hear it clumping. Actually, the, these plates were a little bit too big. So then I'm going to try and squeeze in a couple of saucepans too. So that handle can go down in between those plates there and that in there. So obviously these are all clean things. I just felt that you didn't need to see our dirty plates. Um, so that is now pretty full. I could get in a few more mugs. I could probably get a glass down there. I could get a few more bits along on that. Oh, and that knife has slid down. And actually, I don't want that to slide down because it can fall. So I'm just going to pop that back up there. Hope okay, it doesn't fall. Um, then the tablet obviously goes um, in there. Now, if you run out of dishwasher tablets, never, ever, ever, ever use fairy because you end up with bubbles. It breaks the dishwasher, it causes all sorts of damage, and you end up literally with um, a bubble machine and it fills room. Then temperatures. So I don't put our dishwasher on a really hot setting. There is a 75 degrees pots and pans, but I actually use it on 50 for everything, and it doesn't damage your plates or cutlery, which I think is really important. So. I just program it for that one. You don't need a really hot, hot wash. I could do 40, but actually I find that that's a really quick wash and it doesn't wash as well as I'd like. So for me, 50 is my go-to um, program. So I hope that you have found my dishwasher chat interesting. Um, these are the finished paddles that I use the all in one and then you don't need to worry about the rinse aid and the salt. Never put fairy liquid in your dishwasher, it causes havoc. Don't overfill it. It's much better if you've got loads of people or you're busy or whatever it is and you've got loads to go in the dishwasher, it's better just to leave some on the side, do one load and then a second load. You don't need to put it on a really hot setting. Once a week, empty out that filter, give it a good clean because it gets built up with grease and goodness knows what and it's not nice and the dishwasher will be far more efficient and wash everything beautifully if you do that. Also when you empty the dishwasher it's useful to have a tea towel to hand. Things like wine glasses can get, um, they're just a little bit damp and so if you just wipe those you don't get the dishwasher mark on that. Um, and thank you for watching. Thank you for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe, to ring the bell to be notified of my weekly videos, to spread the word and have a fabulous weekend.